Hey, everybody, welcome back. So good to have you with us on day four of these devotions that I'm running on um, my best life now. Yesterday, we talked about how life requires a recognition of source. Of course, we said that's in Jesus. And yesterday, we said Jesus is not what the world thinks, that Jesus is your friend. And thirdly, we highlighted that Jesus, in Jesus, is great adventure. And let me give you three more things about life with Jesus today. Firstly, Jesus is truth. The Bible says in Romans chapter 125 that the people exchanged the truth of God for a lie. And isn't it true today as you see Jesus, as you see the God of heaven and earth, the God in the Bible represented in, in modern forms of media, whether it be in film and social media on TV, we see a representation of God that when we actually read the Bible, we find that actually there's a a modern interpretation of God, which is so radically different from the kind, gracious, wonderful, majestic, all-powerful God that we read about in the Bible. Jesus is truth. And if he is truth, then where the Bible says in John 14 that we will do even greater things than him, that means that in this season, in 2023, this new year, as we approach it, we too can see by faith mountains be removed. We too can not only experience eternal life ourselves, but in our unsaved friends and family members, they can experience it true too. We can experience joy, happiness, all these sorts of things can be truly experienced if we understand and remember that Jesus is truth. Now, the next thought about my best life now about Jesus is this, is just remembering, folks, that Jesus rescued us. He rescued us. There's this moment in scripture where Jesus says, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and save that which is lost. Jesus came to rescue us. And I love that. There's that sense where truly in all of our own lives, we couldn't save ourselves. We, we needed more than a physician. We needed more than a doctor. We needed more than just a friend. We needed a savior. And that's why God in his brilliance sent Jesus Christ, first and foremost, as savior, not as a teacher, not as a scientist, and not as a friend, but he sent him as a savior because we needed rescuing from our own sin. He is our great savior. The third thought about Jesus is this, is that Jesus he is a local. What do I mean by that? Well, listen, if you ever have the opportunity to, to visit overseas, you can pick up a guidebook and, and you can follow the map and, and read about certain areas in your guidebook. And that's okay. You'll have a good time. But the best way to see Rome, to see uh, you know Cyprus, to, to experience Paris is to get a local someone who knows the back streets, somebody who knows the city, the country, inside and out. And they'll not only show you the highlights, they'll not only show you what everybody else sees, but you'll find out the little things about that city, about that country that makes it great. You need a local. And I think when it comes to life, Jesus is a local. Life with Jesus makes sense because he shows us how to truly experience life and life to the full. So remember this today, our best life, your best life is now. It's not tomorrow, it's not next year. Let's take all these truths that we've been learning over the last four days and put them into practice now so that as we come into our new year, 2023, can you believe that? We'll truly live, not just live looking over the horizon, but embrace every day and make the most of every opportunity. May God bless you and look forward to catching up with you all tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.